So just as we learned in the last video that maps are kind of like how we usually use objects with key values, um, sets, which is what we're talking about today, are sort of the equivalent for arrays where you only store values. Uh, so to take a quick look at the API, you can do things like you know var my set equals a new set, and then you can just start adding things to it. So you can do my set dot add, and you can add a number like ten. You can do my set dot add, and you get a string like foo. Um, you can do my set dot add, and you can pass it an object like foo bar. Uh, oops, bar, some stuff like that. Uh, and so yeah, you can basically add anything that you want to it. Um, just like an array, this isn't a key value. Uh, it's just a, a key value. So then you can console log uh, my set dot size. Um, you'll see there's three things in it. You can delete uh, an item. So you could do, you know, um, see that the size is three, and then you could do my set dot delete uh, and delete foo from it. Um, and then you can copy this and do another size. So you can see that it had three, now it has two. Um, another thing worth noting is uh, the way that you kind of, this is like the equivalent of setting. Uh, so the way that you get is with the has keyword. Um, so you could do something like console log my set dot has uh, a 10 in it. Uh, and that'll be a boolean true or false. And then I think like the last thing that we want to do is that you can um, iterate over them in a bunch of different ways which is pretty cool uh, so if we kind of go back to this point where we just have these three items in the set uh, you can just do a for loop uh, so you could do like you know let um, item uh, and this is the uh, for of so you can do let item of my set uh, cool and then we can console.log item like this um, and that'll go through, let me clear this so it's a little bit more clear, that'll go through and log 10 foo and then an object with foo and var. Uh, so that's like the basic um, basic principles of working with sets. So uh, again, like instead of kind of abusing, you know, uh, the objects and arrays like we have in the past, uh, if you really just want to make like these iterable things, uh, maps and sets are a really cool way to go. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk a little bit about weak sets as well.